Howdy, I'm Ben with Build, and today we're going to learn about grinder safety and how to grind on these containers. So first off, the general PPE to use grinder is a little bit more than just your general site safety. In addition to your uh, shirt, long sleeve pants, closed toed shoes, uh, hair pulled back and a nice ponytail to keep it out of your way, you're also going to need to have hair protection, a face shield, gloves, and a long sleeve shirt. So the reason why you need all this extra protection is because you're dealing with something that you don't usually deal with. Um, these grinders spin about seven to 10,000 RPM. So that means that when things go bad, things can go pretty bad, which is why I like to wear these shirts. They're also pretty loud, so you have to be careful with that with your protection. And then when you wear your face shields, you also need to be wearing your safety glasses under your face shields. And I usually take my watch off too. And your Aggie ring, if you have one. Take your rings off. So the grinders, pretty simple. This part spins really fast. And this is your go button. You have a little safety toggle switch right here that you have to flick down and to press in. You also have this uh, the shield, the guard for your grinder. This protects you. So always keep your grinder guard on. Don't take it off. If you have a grinder without a guard, uh, talk to your student supervisor, talk to your superintendent, and they'll help you find you a guard. So finally, These bits that we use are brushes. They're stainless steel brushes, nothing fancy about them. And to load them, they're typically usually loaded for you. You're gonna depress with your thumb that black pin. Depress it real good, real hard. And you spin it on, spin it on. This is why I wear gloves when I do this because when you spin it, you take it in your hand and you twist it until it's snug. And then you put your face shield on when you have it on and then you test it and you make sure it spins which I will do in just a second. So as I was saying, use this trigger to depress it down, and then once you're ready, face shield down. You twist, well you can pull the trigger. Spins up real quick, and to stop it, you just let go. Pretty simple. So now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna find a nice big crusty spot. So some of these have been spray painted to make it easier to find, but just for learning ability, we're gonna grind this spot. So you can see how you have this normal paint and you have this rust spot. What you wanna do with the grinder is remove that rust spot so that we can spray that rust inhibitor on it and it doesn't rust anymore. So, when you're ready, pull the trigger. That's about it. As you can see, it's a little bit shinier. There's a few layers of paint on this container. You have the reddish maroon, the brown, then you have the white primer, and then you have the base metal. So you want to try and keep most of the paint on it, but you want to take off all the rest like that. With the way that you adjust the grinder is that you don't have it flush like this. You actually bias it to one side of the cutting edge, which is the brush so that you can actually get a good scrubbing action like you would with your toothbrush. So, we'll keep going for a little bit more, see how much damage we can do. So, as you can see, the way I'm holding it, I have my non-dominant hands on the grip itself with my right hand holding this down. You have to be careful not to let the uh, 
grinder walk on you or jump on you because it will and it probably can and if you're not careful and if you're not holding with a nice firm grip it'll take it right out of your hands and it can be really dangerous for people working next to you so when you're done with the grinder don't hold it by a cord take it by its uh by the thing itself and that's how you carry you don't carry it by the cord because you can damage it itself but it's hot it's really hot in the grinder suit so make sure you're always drinking water too so when you're walking down here it's no problem you can just stand here but when you're under the ladder or even on top of the grind uh, on top of the container you need to also have a hard hat on it's hard to balance but you need to be wearing it but if you have to preface the face shield over the hard hat so with that being said i'm done with build let's go build <laughs>